Bitcoin ETF pump. Does that mean Bitcoin's going to the moon now? Or is this a bull trap? We're going to be talking about that and more in today's episode. My name is Da Vinci. I'm 5x5, five five, staying alive here in Dubai. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, quite a few news items that uh, that uh, happened in the last little while, both Ben Armstrong's uh, dismissal from his um, own YouTube page. That was kind of weird. <laughs> so, and then also... Uh, Elon Musk is turning X into a, a, an everything app, just like they have in China with uh, Alipay, or I think, forget what, what this called, if that's that's what it's called. But anyways, let's delve into that as well. And also, finally, the Grayscale um, ETF pump, how that uh, affected the markets, and does that mean there's going to be some follow through? All right, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna start off with the news and um, and then go into the the um, trading and see how we could trade this. Uh, take a look at the charts, and if you're interested in trading, you could do so at bybit.davinciJ15.com. Join the um, there's a trading competition here that's going on. Uh, make sure you join in at bybit.davinciJ15.com today and join that trading competition. Also, um, two bit davincij15.com or okx.davincij15.com links are in the description below i'm still playing this game still having lots of fun uh man uh, let me just show you guys like um you can see i'm a level 16 um like on this game here you can see let's take a look at my levels here you can see i'm slowly going up the ranks here i'm like if you go by levels i'm the highest i'm the person with the highest level at 16 uh and the progress right over overall um like 3000 uh, uh 27 uh i don't know how they calculate that but anyways that is um the game so i'm also um if you manage lands i have some land and i only have one player on that's actually i have more than one player that i've invited right um this guy's he's starting to play and he's at level six and so congratulations uh, Mike at 92 uh, for joining in and there's quite a few players who um, you know, here's your email address if you're looking at this uh, why aren't you playing why are you not playing what's wrong with you people uh, I'm going to kick you out if you don't play because um, I've, I've sent the emails out you should be playing so go if you've already signed up start playing now there's still room for you guys to uh, actually sign up if you're interested uh, if you have a Davitar, you can actually join in, and I got a spot right here, and there's lots of spots left, so you you can um, join in and play this game. That's only invite only. So uh, if you have a Davitar, right, uh, head over to Davitar.com, click rewards, and you can uh, sign up to play uh, Medieval Empires and be the first to, to play this um, play to earn. Uh, game uh, and uh, learn this game and be able to once it's uh, fully released make some easy money all right with that said let's move on to the first news item of today that is the ben armstrong's bitboy allegations and uh, he claims it to be diabolical and this uh dismissal from ben armstrong's own youtube channel seems a little odd <laughs> his, if you go over to his YouTube channel, his face, Bitboy Crypto, his face is on the front of Bitboy Crypto. Yet, of course, he's been dismissed, stating that he's been a drug abuser. Which, of course, I, uh, whatever the situation is, if you know, if, if 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 someone does a bad job of your company, you're not supposed to like, uh. What's it called? Um, uh, have make bad statements. What is it? Uh, what's the words for that? That is, um, there's a word for that. There is, uh, uh, it is. Now I just can't seem to, it just can't seem to come out. But anyways, there. If you, um, if you de de denigrate them, make them look bad. That's that makes your company look bad. They should have like really stated, hey, you know what. Uh, we've decided to part ways and um, it's an uh, 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 equitable decision and blah, blah, blah. Make it look good for both BitBoy and the company itself. But this makes it look this this is going to turn into a big fight 
where a defamation lawsuit, that is the word I'm looking for, defamation lawsuit will be coming um, from Ben Armstrong soon, which is horrible. Uh, just, just, it's going to be a big mess. Elon Musk S moves closer to crypto payments with new state license. Okay, so he's got this Rhode Island license. He's got a few other licenses as well. Um, they've got... Um, let's see here, Missouri, a few others. Let's see here, Michigan, Missouri, New Hampshire. Okay, so notice how um, the only problem with running any kind of um, custodial ship in the United States is that you have to get a money transmitter license in every single state. <laughs> and you know why that's that is, right? Um, and if you don't, right, it is so bad. Let's just say you were to go and uh, and say, hey, I'm going to give you cash for your Bitcoin to anyone, right? You will set the ire of the FBI on your butt in the United States. It is that big of a deal. Why? Because the banking system wants it that way. <laughs> and so... um. Yeah, this is this is ensures that the banking bankers keeps a, a tight grip on who can have a bank account in, and be able to transfer money anywhere around the world, and this can, keeps gives them that control. Um, so it's going to be a long haul for Elon Musk to put um, you know get the licenses on all fifty states, but he'll get it done because um, he's got um, he's got a lot of power and he's can hold a lot of people by the balls <laughs> so so yeah he'll get that done no problem um grayscale wins a court battle but what does that mean for a spot bitcoin etf well it is just one battle which the um, sec can appeal um most likely they're going to lose the appeal but um it is not uh, over for the uh, for grayscale just yet but most likely they're going to win and uh, move on to creating their ETF. Now, it doesn't mean that the ETF is going to show up very soon. It's probably going to show up during the next bull market to crash the price because uh, that's what happens when uh, you, you buy the rumor and sell the news. So once that uh, once that fact hits that there is an actual ETF, you can see in Bitcoin drop like a rock. And you're like, what? How's that possible? It's a physical ETF. People can be able to buy more ETF Bitcoin. Oh my God. Of what planet do you think that I can print money and I'm going to let you buy an asset that's going to replace my ability to print money? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> oh, my God. You are a joke. You barrel laughs. All righty. So well, let's go on to the, the charts here. Right. And if you're interested in um, trading, right, uh, you could trade on uh, 2bit.davinciJ15.com that's 2bit.davinciJ15.com right or um, buybit.davinciJ15.com or okx.davinciJ15.com links are in the description below you can see that um, as I was saying right just the other day that there's there's a chance that this is going to pump up here and, and, and break this level and I was and there it is <laughs> right uh, it was um I didn't think that this was going to happen, of course, but it was clear that that, that was a possibility that we're going to get up here. Uh, looks like we're probably going to reach as high as the, the 28.5 um, or something like that, up at least up into this this range here. Um, most likely, let's just take a look at if, where the resistance is here. Uh, yeah, we're, we're right above, right about the 28.5, 28.6. Area is where you'll see some resistance uh, for uh, Bitcoin. Let's, let me just mark that in, in the count on, on line here because line in the sand. Um, Bitcoin's got to resist that line. So now that we've broken above this um, this line, you can see that um, Bitcoin will draw either um, pump up to here or break down shortly. Let's just see what happens over the next little while. Looking at the lower time frames, things are like breaking down. We broke down through below the 13 EMA on the hourly, just retesting it, and then we're trying to break above it, but um, probably going to fail. Um, our, the, 14, the four hour um, 
uh, it's going to have to come to the 13 AMA. And because it has, uh, because it crossed over here, generally what happens on the four hour is that it'll come close to the 13 AMA and then pump once more, and then we're going to break down. So look for something like that well, on the lower time frame to to buy um, Bitcoin to the next level, which is up to the 28.5 or 28.6 level. Look at that. Now, overall, what happened? What's going to happen? Is Bitcoin going to create a new um, high or even Ethereum? Probably not. Here's why. Because the trend is your friend until the end. This does not look good. So here we just go right here. And this this is not good. This is not good. Same over here uh, on Ethereum. Right. There is a clear pattern of a breakdown here. So this trend, upward trend, has been broken. So now we have to assume that this trend will continue breaking down further until it actually um, breaks higher. And uh, the only way we know that that trend is going to go higher is that we have to break now above $2,156 uh, level. So um, for Ethereum and for Bitcoin, of course, it is the 31,754 level that we have to break in order to say, okay, we're going higher. We're going higher. We're probably we'll continue the trend higher here. That's unfortunate, but that's just the way it, it works uh, in trading and um, and the market. So we have to wait for that. Good news is if you are a hodler, if you are interested in holding Bitcoin or Ethereum, you are getting the best prices. Make sure you hodl like Bitcoin and Ethereum, because that is the best way for you to make generational wealth that will last in the future. Bitcoin is not going anywhere. If you bet against Bitcoin, you're basically betting that, you know, an asteroid hits the planet, right? That's, that's possible. <laughs> it's possible, but you don't bet on it. <laughs> So, so hold your bitcoins, right? Buy Bitcoin, hold on to it. Buy Ethereum, hold on to it, and you will see massive wealth uh, growth in the future. As these items will be used in financially everywhere in the world, they they cannot be stopped. It can only be slowed down by the government, but not stopped. So make sure you buy some, put it away, buy a hardware wallet, or even use a software wallet. And uh, put some Bitcoin away and you will not regret it. Trust me. I told you guys this before. And I'm telling you again. Hold on to your Bitcoin. It will, and hold on to your Ethereum. You will not regret it. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.